go on YouTube. This video is for people having difficulties with the upgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 8.1. Uh, this includes what you may be receiving, which is the black screen. And all it shows is the mouse cursor and nothing else. Uh, it doesn't even load the desktop. Uh, some people call it the black screen of death, but it doesn't matter to me because it's just a black screen in my case. I did, however, fix two laptops that were having this issue. I believe they were Acer laptops. And after trying so many solutions over the internet, which wasn't working, however, I did find one solution that did work, and I thought I'd share with others in this video. Well, to get straight to the point, what you're going to have to do is open Command Prompt. Now, I don't care how you access Command Prompt, whether it's through Safe Boot with Command Prompt, or just booting up Windows normally using Task Manager. For time's sake, what I'm going to use is the task manager. Now pretend I just have the black screen with the mouse cursor. What you're going to do is hit Control Alt Delete. From this point on, you will see options such as lock, sign out, switch users, and task manager. Click task manager. You may get an error message like a question mark or a percentile, whatever, and a message saying can't find the program entry. If you are, however, you will have to boot up your computer in safe mode with command prompt because it will not allow you to run CMD for whatever reason. Okay, when you do have task manager open, you're going to hit file, run new task, type in CMD, which I already done, create this task with administrative privileges. Make sure you check that. Hit OK. And again, if this does not work for you, you will have to boot up your computer through safe mode with command prompt. However you do that, there's different ways to do it on different uh, Windows laptops or uh, computers. Uh, F8 key, F8, F9 key, or F10 key, which is holding shift. Uh, but as soon as you get that, however you get your way through command prompt. Now, you will have to type in S. F C space slash scan now and hit enter. It should take a little bit. Now basically what this does is check your system files to uh repair missing or corrupt system files basically. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, maybe it's thirty minutes to an hour. So give it patience. Okay, after it's done, you should receive a message uh, saying Windows, the scan is done. Uh, this is my first time running on this computer, and it says Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files, but was unable to fix some of them. Uh, I'm not aware of any corrupt files on this computer. It seems to be working uh, fine. Uh, updates are ran, but back to the main point. Uh, after it's done, uh, next you're going to type in CD period period, hit enter. Hit it again, C, D, period, period, enter, and you should be at your C drive. Okay, then you're going to type in quotation C colon backslash Windows activation technology and end it with quotation and hit enter. Now, if it doesn't recognize the file, you might have to go back and add Dell. D E L space then hit enter. Now since I've already done this, I can't do it twice. But after you do do it, you should know when the action is complete. It's going to tell you, and then after that, you're going to type in shut down space backslash R, and what this would do is restart your computer. And the problem should be fixed for you then. Uh, if it works for you, uh, please like the video and share it with others that may be experiencing this video. Uh, I will put a link of uh, the forum uh, you can visit uh, and see other people that may be having a problem. Uh, here we go, where we just typed in the Dell quotation C Windows activation technologies. Now, um, and you can try other solutions on this website as well. Uh, and again, I will post the link for you. Thank you very much and subscribe.